Hi, and welcome to this edition of Mobile Tech Videos. I'm Josh, also known as Connection2005 on many of the forums that you may visit. Today, we'll be talking about a quick, one-touch way to uninstall any application from your Android phone. Now, as we all know, uh, uninstalling applications on the Android phone can be a bit agonizing, and it involves far more clicks than what seems necessary. Uh, for example, if we wanted to uninstall an application, we would normally have to pull up our options, choose settings, choose applications, manage apps. If you have more than the three apps like we have, it can take up to you know, 60 seconds for this list to update and refresh and organize them alphabetically. Um, and once it does, you still have to click the app you want and then choose uninstall. That's quite a few options. Android 2.3 has simplified this a little bit to where when you click settings, now you'll get manage applications in this option. But in my opinion, there's an easy, even easier way to do this, and that's using a program called Shake Uninstall. Go out to the market and uh, download it. It's Shake Uninstall. It's free, and uh, it's brought to you by Zosk Labs. So once you have downloaded it, uh, we can open the application, and on the original screen, we're going to see this. Go ahead and enable the service. Click the Settings button and choose the Settings option. And what I like to do is select Start on Boot. I disable Show Notification. I disable Shake and I enable hold search. It does have a shake option where you could activate the uninstaller by shaking, but if anyone else has used shake applications on the Android phone, it's not really as responsive as you'd like it to be. It can create false positives if you drop the phone or it moves around in your pocket, and who knows what else. So I like to use the hold search option. Once you've done all that, we can click home. Now, we have one more setting to enable, and this can be a bit confusing unless you're used to setting up the program. Uh, when you click Applications, choose the app that you may want to uninstall. For us, we'll go with Bing. We'll let Bing open. Now, since we've chosen the Long Press option, we'll hold the search, and we need to set the default uh, for that action. So for us, we want Long Press to mean Shake Uninstall. So we're going to use this by default, and we're going to choose Shake Uninstall. Now that we've picked that, we'll be presented with this screen. Unfortunately, this screen won't uninstall. It's, it's a one-time screen. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably just a bug with the app. But this screen actually won't do anything. So we're going to press cancel. Well, from now on, the service is set up correctly. Once you've set the default, that never happens again. It uses the correct screen. So we'll go back into Applications, choose Bing. We'll long press again. And now we'll receive the official Android system menu saying, would you like to uninstall the application? We'll say OK. Finished. Done. The app's not there anymore. You've uninstalled it using one button. This is especially handy for the times that you're going to the market to download a specific application for the category you want, and there's five competing applications. Obviously, you want the best out of those five, so you install all five, and you're sifting through them, deciding what you like and do not like. Well, this really comes in handy, because when there's been a million times where I open up an application, it's not what I wanted, I want to uninstall it quickly, now I just long press. So, this is the long press to uninstall any Android application uh, video brought to you by Mobile Tech Videos. Uh, visit our website at mobiletechvideos.com for the latest tips and news. Please view some other videos on my channel if you have some time. Check out the forums that I'm on, such as xdadevelopers.com, androidforums.com, Android Central, uh, Samsung Captivate Forums, uh, and always, good luck.